Are you feeling creatively constipated? I'm your Mylanta. Hi guys, I'm DJ Henry, and today I want to share with you three ways that you can get inspired and get through your creative constipation and get inspired again. You know, get creatively regular. I can't believe it's already June of 2016. If you're watching this a few days from now, a few months from now, or even a few years from now, or a lot of years from now, one thing that's common is every year, the first half of the year seems to just fly by. So how was the first half of your year? Are you feeling kind of tired from really pushing through and chugging through to get check things off your list from the first six months? I've done a lot of the things that I wanted to do, not everything, but I was able to publish my first book. I just finished filming my second short film. I've been cast in different commercials and photo shoots, and I just got cast in a feature film. On the creative tip, it's been pretty good, but as any person who's creative or has a creative business or makes their living as a creative person or has a regular business and wants to be more creative in that business, it can sometimes be a, a struggle at some point. It's not all the time. Rainbows and unicorns and fluffy clouds and lollipops and inspiration. So if you're feeling creatively constipated, the first thing I would ask you is to take stock of how are you feeling in your body? Are you hungry, tired, thirsty? Have you not worked out in a while and you really like to work out? Are you someone who's introverted and needs to spend time alone to re-energize? Or are you extroverted and being alone too much maybe drains your energy and you need to go out and be with people? Maybe you're just really, really tired and you just need to get some good sleep. So the first thing I would say is take stock of your body and its basic needs and figure out if you're missing or lacking in any of those areas. You need to keep your body healthy, energized, well rested, not dehydrated, just so that you can think clearly and create at your best ability. Maybe everything is fine, you've got enough sleep, you've been eating right, and you've been working out, but you're still feeling creative constipation. Well, the second thing I would suggest for you is to maybe take a break and step away from your creative project. Now this is actually a normal part of the creative process. Psychologists have studied the creative process and stepping away and letting your mind kind of work through the things that you've done and come up with new solutions, that is normal. You actually need to give your brain a break to process and that's exactly what it does while it's sleeping. So as a creative person who whose professional work is creative in terms of acting, and filmmaking, I also have this other bucket over here of things that I just like to do for fun. For example, I really like cheesy romantic comedies. I don't know, I just like it, it's just fun, it makes me feel good. And there's one movie in particular that I just love watching in the summer, it's called Clueless. It's like one of the first teeny bopper movies in 1995 starring Alicia Silverstone and I just love watching it because it reminds me of when I was in high school and we got out of school and you know we had summertime and things were more relaxed, I don't know, the movie Clueless just brings me back to the good old days. So I would just suggest for you to think of what are the things that you love to do because you just love to do them. There's no paycheck, pressure, reputation, anything attached to them. It's just you and pure fun. Maybe it's putting together new outfits or maybe it's working on your coin collection or maybe it's just gardening or something that it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you. As long as you enjoy doing it, you'll find that your energy starts to pick up again and you start to feel inspired again. Number three. This suggestion is also in the line of the creative process. Once again, we talk about the subconscious and the role it plays in the creative process. The subconscious mind actually takes the problems and it comes up with solutions. And sometimes you need to kind of get your conscious mind just engaged enough to let your subconscious have more of a voice. Now what I'm saying is you can do this through walking or yoga or meditation or something where it doesn't take too much of your mind to think about what you're doing, but just enough to kind of keep your body engaged and then you can kind of start working through different problems. And you've probably experienced this if you've taken a walk outside or you've felt really mad and angry about something, you just need to go clear your head. You can give yourself some time where your conscious is engaged and your subconscious has enough room to kind of speak to you. And then you're in this place where you can listen. And that's what's really amazing about doing yoga or meditating or just taking a walk or whatever you need to do. I have one more bonus tip for you. And this really helps me out a lot. 
It's to look at your why. It's to look at the bigger picture of why you're doing something. For example, if you're working on a film or you're writing a book and you can really get into it where it's very, very difficult. You know, this past film I did, we were working for 16 hours or 24 hours and you're almost like, why am I doing this? Why does it matter? But then at the end of it, I hear the stories of the different cast members and how we were able to touch their lives. Then you need to remember that there is a bigger picture because it wasn't until the end of filming that I started to hear stories of how this process actually affected the cast members in a positive way, that it helped them to get through a hard time, that it made them think about their own faith in a, deep, in a deeper way. And that's why I do what I do is it's not just the end product, but it's the process that's really important. And the same thing for you. Think about why you started to do it. Why is this important? And I would even challenge you that if you can't think about why it's important and you're not happy with your why, then change your why or change what you're doing so that you can have the passion to fuel what you're doing. I hope that these tips helped you out. And if you want to go deeper or get all of these tips together in one place that you can print out and keep up next to your computer or wherever you work, you can go to djhenry.com forward slash stay inspired. And there you can download a PDF, a special PDF that you can just simply print out and have all the tips right there that you can check out and see, you know, if there's anything that would help you if you're ever feeling creatively constipated. Thanks so much for listening. If you liked this video, please share it and please subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.